This is the world's best business class. We flew from Milan to JFK on Emirates A380. And this is a bucket list trip for any traveler. You might be asking, is it worth it? Well, short answer is yes. But to see why, keep watching. We'll show you what door-to-door -door service really means and how Emirates has something that no other airline has. <laughs> She's like, what is that? Our flight home began like most, except it had one special benefit. Emirates has a special offering called chauffeur drive, which means when you fly business or first class, you get door-to-door -door service. So our driver, AKA Emirates, picked us up directly from our Airbnb in Milan. Yes. So after a fairly stressful airport process of going through security and customs, we finally made it to the promised land. That's right, the Emirates Lounge. And now it is beautiful. It's this very spacious enclave. No one is bothering anyone else. There's, there's plenty of space for everyone to have a seat. The other thing is great food options anything you could want, and plenty of booze options. Now there is no bar, but basically they've got wine, they've got liquor, they've got anything you could want, but it's kind of serve yourself style. After a quick shower, we got to experience one of the best features of this Emirates lounge. So the best part of the Emirates business experience is that you can board directly from the lounge. Now, that means that you don't have to deal with any riffraff outside, the cacophony of noise that happens in airports, and just the overall stress of the boarding experience. Emirates strips that away and you board directly from the lounge, which is my dream. Never have we been sitting in a lounge and then the gate to board is right there. So we are flying on an Airbus A380 with a 121 seating configuration. Now the bassinets are in the bulk head row and unfortunately the premier seat, the two together, was already taken. So we had to split the two seats on either side of the airplane. So how does it feel? It feels awesome. It has a bassinet for Scotland, has plenty of privacy away from the aisle and so many windows. So many windows. Okay, so let's talk about these awesome seats. Now, besides having some fantastic, huge windows, they also have some really cool features. First up, there's a mini bar. That's right, each seat has its own little mini bar that is stocked prior to boarding, which is really nice because then you don't need to ask for water for most of the flight. The TVs are massive, and each seat has its own iPad controller. That's right, each seat has its own iPad. Now at first, this seemed a bit excessive, but after using it, it was really nice. The seats are lay flat, wide, and comfortable. And lastly, the amenities kit, well, this was one of the nicest we've ever seen. It had everything you could need for a flight and more. Thank you. Ooh, a hot towel, what do you think? spritzes in my life, but I've never had one on an airplane. Look at this. We just had Aperol spritzes made on the airplane on the upper deck. I just feel so cool right now. This plane has a private bar. Look, it's a smile. <laughs> Look, not that private. It's for everyone in first class and business class. Yes, but, but we came up here early, so no one's up here just yet. <laughs> Aperol spritz in the air. Cheers. Chin. So basically anyone in business class or first class can come back here pretty much five minutes after takeoff and the bartender's up here making drinks basically whatever you would like. It's also nice that we have an area to come play with Scotland this whole time. Yeah, so if she wants to scream, she'll join everyone screaming at the bar having fun, right? Little note, if you're going to get a seat, you actually want to be as far away from the bar as possible because this is going to be the noisiest seats on the plane. In business class, there are two sections. The front section, which is much larger, and then there's a back section, which is about five rows. I would highly recommend not being in the back section because there's gonna be a lot of foot traffic to the galley and to the bar, versus the front section is gonna be far away from the noise.
The bassinet on the Emirates flight is really easy to get the baby into. Scotland fell asleep on me and put her in the bassinet. She was sleeping so soundly. And then we hit turbulence. And when you hit turbulence, you need to take the baby out of the bassinet, unfortunately. So in this case, I had to wake a sleeping baby. Kind of, because she kept sleeping though. So luckily, she kept sleeping. She slept on me, but we didn't really get to use the bassinet much. <laughs> Got maybe a minute. designated bassinet seats that are always in the bulkhead. When you go to book your seat on the Emirates site or the app, there will be a tiny baby icon in the seats that have bassinet capabilities. So right now I am sitting in 7A, Scott is sitting in 7K. Both of these seats have bassinet capabilities. That was seamless. The driver was right outside customs. That was awesome. It was so fast. 